Hey guys, welcome to the Vagabond Expedition Jeep. Today I just wanted to catch you guys up on a few mechanical issues that the Jeep has had over uh, over the course of the summer. One of which, uh, one of the problems, if you've been following along on YouTube here, is I posted up a video called uh, Crickets in the Jeep. And I'll throw up the link to that video down below so you can have a look. So that one there was actually a brake related issue. And uh, as I kind of thought, because I'd heard the noise before, not, not in the Jeep, but on other vehicles that I've owned. And to me, it sure sounded like a brake squealer issue. Uh, you'd get that, that scrapey noise, and then as you depress the brakes, it would go away. To a certain degree. So I took the, uh, the Jeep. I'm roaming around BC, so I couldn't take it to my usual Jeep guy. Uh, so I took it to a, a Jeep uh, Chrysler dealership here. And uh, they, I gave them fifty dollars. They did a brake inspection. Well, their brake inspection is nothing more than looking at brake pads through the through the wheels. They don't even take the wheels off to look at anything. So, fifty dollars later, they tell me I got lots of brakes. Uh, I think it was about 40 50 percent on the rear, and I think it was sixty or seventy up front. And the noise is probably just a stone in there. It'll go away on its own. Just drive it, use the brakes as you normally would, and the noise will go away. I, I've heard that story before with other vehicles. Uh, so I, I ended up going elsewhere. Took it to him, and his brake inspection actually involves taking the wheels off. So we took the wheels off the calipers off to pull the rotors and lo and behold the brake pad assembly on the back passenger side pretty much fell apart so long story short new rotors new pads on the rear and the noise is gone I went back to the dealership and said look your brake inspection sucks I want my money back they agreed and uh, got my money back for the uh, the very poor brake inspection that they did. Next noise, and I didn't show you guys this in a video earlier on. What was going on was a a knocking noise. Uh, you'd go over a bump, uh, just a curb, uh, going into a parking lot, a cut down curb. Uh, a manhole cover would even set it off and hear this metal clunk, clunk, clunk going on. I've heard that noise before as well on the Jeep and uh, my history with that noise was front sway bar links. Well, to me this time around, the noise was sounding like it's coming from the rear. Stuck the camera down there, went for a little bit of a drive. So sure enough, uh, sway bar links. Now I was uh, back in Ontario when this was going on on, uh, on a cross country drive. Managed to track down somebody that had some time to, to help me out. And we looked at it and it turns out the hole where the sway bar link mounts to had actually ovaled out. It was no longer circular, it had ovaled out. So there is room for the sway bar link bolt to actually move and that's what was creating that clunking sound you can see in the clip i've actually pointed out that sway bar bolt moving you can actually see it in there
Now, when you took the sway bar link off, it actually wasn't a huge amount uh, that it had ovaled. But throw the weight of the Jeep on there, um, and it was it's a it's a huge movement when you put it all together. This particular uh, shop, they welded in a new piece, redrilled a hole, and now it sits perfect once again. So what was kind of interesting about that was that small amount of movement was throwing off the handling of the Jeep significantly. I had what's called the, the tail wagging the dog effect. It, uh, once you got up to highway speeds, the back end of the Jeep was actually fishtailing a little bit and throwing the front into a bit of a, a, a sway movement. Once that plate was welded into place and re-drilled, the, uh, the problem was solved. Uh, it handles quite well now. I do need longer sway bar links and uh, I gotta find something for that though just to let the back end uh, flex when I'm, uh, I'm off-road. But those, uh, that ovaling out of the mounting point on the Jeep, that created huge problems in the handling of the Jeep and uh, such a minor thing or minor play really affected handling quite significantly. And so it was nice to get that all fixed up. Other than that, the Jeep's running uh, running great now. A couple of a uh, couple of those issues. I mean, sure, it cost me a few hundred for new brakes, and I think it was about a hundred dollars for the shop to weld in a new piece, uh, just with their labor and whatnot to do that. So I can't complain there. But uh, if you're carrying a heavy load with your Jeep, uh, rooftop tent, whatever, watch those sway bar mounting points you might find that the increased weight up top is going to contribute to some some problems there so if you do get some knocking noises check those sway bar links all the way around front and rear if everything seems seems tight take the time put a camera down there or get a friend of yours have a closer look because you might find that the holes are ovaling out a little bit on you too so you can see the welded in piece right here. So this was welded onto the mounting bracket and then a new hole drilled right through. Hopefully that helps. If you've got any uh, questions, be sure to let, them, let me know in the comments down below. Looks like it's on to the next uh, Jeep headache.